Now to a breaking story that we've been following for you since our newscast at 4 o'clock. A deadly shooting. Deputies in Fort Bend County say a man injured his ex-girlfriend and then killed her mother and another relative before shooting himself. The suspect and the ex-girlfriend are now in the hospital. This all happened in the area of Navajo Court and Buffalo Street near Rosenberg. That's where our Sophia Beausoleil is live now with the very latest. Sophia? The Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office says it's still under investigation when it comes to the sequence of the timeline of events that happened earlier, but they tell us that there are three different areas where the shootings took place. The Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office says around 2.40 Tuesday afternoon, deputies received a call from a road and bridge employee who was working along Highway 36 and Comanche Boulevard. The caller says a man was shooting into this car. We're told the suspect is 42-year-old Juan De Leon Jr. Deputies say he's the ex-boyfriend of the victim. The woman who was inside the car was shot, but she is not in critical condition. The victim told deputies to check on her mother, who lives in the 5,000 block of Navajo Street in the Horseshoe Bend Village neighborhood. Deputies found a woman, the victim's mother, dead inside the home. They also found a man who is related to them dead outside of the house. As for the suspect, Juan De Leon Jr., the sheriff's office says he lives in the same neighborhood and shot himself inside his car. He was taken by air med to the medical center and is in critical condition. And we asked the sheriff's office whether they've received calls in the past for disturbances at either the victim's house, who lived with her mother and the other relatives, or the suspect's house. They told us that they have not received any calls in the past. Again, this is still very much an ongoing investigation, and any updates we will get, we will let you know. Reporting live from Fort Bend County, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.